Hey guys, it's Ashley. Today we're going to be talking about my daily morning planning routine. And I'm going to walk you guys through all the things that I do to plan for my day. And if you're wondering, all of my planner supplies come from the Happy Planner and I will link their website down below in the description box. Now the first thing that I do in the mornings is I hop inside of my fitness and nutrition planner and I'm looking at my habit tracker and I track habits from the day before. Ideally I do this in the evenings but it doesn't always happen so this is just a part of my morning routine. And the habits that I'm tracking is whether or not I did my workout, if I hit my water goals, if I hit my nutrition goals, whether or not I did my morning and evening routine as well as memory keeping. Now, I used to be an all or nothing kind of girl. Like I got a full bubble for doing it, and by bubble I mean like filling in the bubble for the day, or I didn't get a bubble at all. But I changed that because no, I'm not perfect. I need to stop expecting myself to be perfect. So now I will give myself half bubbles. The goal is to have as less as few half bubbles as possible and have more full bubbles, but I will now give myself a half bubble. So let's say for example, the goal is to drink a gallon of water, but maybe I get 80 ounces in. Well, then I get a half of a bubble. If the goal is to drink a gallon of water, but I only get 20 ounces in, then I won't fill in the bubble for that day. Now here, I'm just taking a mild liner, and today, the day that I'm filming this is on Monday, and at the beginning of the week, I like to take a mild liner and highlight the week that we're on, so it's easier for me to find it whenever I go in in the mornings to track those habits. Now the next thing I'm gonna do is block schedule my day. And I do this with the hourly vertical happy planner. And this is, like I said, it's just where I block schedule my day. So this is actually me planning out my day. Now this planner works in conjunction with all of the other planners that I have. So for example, I have a catch-all planner. This is literally for anything and everything. Doctor's appointments, things I need to get done that day. So general to-do lists, there could be priorities. If we have meetings, doc I already said doctors, didn't I? Okay, so you get it. It's just anything and everything. And then I also have a social media and coaching planner, and I use that one for planning out my social media and the things I have to do as a fitness coach. And so I use the hourly to block schedule my day based upon the things that I need to get done from my catch-all planner and from my social media planner. Now over here, what I'm doing is writing out my morning and evening routines, and I believe the more you look at your goals, the more you look at the things you're trying to do, the more likely you are to do them. So to me, the more I'm seeing these routines that I'm trying to build, the more likely I am to accomplish them. So that's why I'm rewriting these down over here on the left side. Here you're gonna see me flipping back and forth between my catch-all, my social media, and my hourly planner. And like I said, I use the hourly planner as a way to plan, to actually plan for the things that I've already planned for. <laughs> That's a very confusing way to put it. Okay, so let's say I have in my social media planner, let's say it's a day that I need to film. Like I'm filming today, that takes up quite a bit of time, or I'm editing videos. Well, I need to actually plan time for that because if I don't, it's gonna get put onto the back of my list and I'm not gonna get it done. So this is where I'm looking at that social media planner, the plans that I have, I'm flipping back to my hourly planner and I'm figuring out where I'm actually gonna fit that stuff in for today so I am getting my to-do list done. I'm getting those things done that I've already planned for.
if you ever feel like you're not accomplishing the things that you've planned and you constantly are trying to catch up, I highly recommend block scheduling your day and I actually have a video on block scheduling. I will link it down below in the description box. You guys can check that out. But this is how I actually accomplish the things that I've planned for is by planning them, planning time slots for them in my day. If I, Like I said, if I don't plan for them, it's not gonna happen. And the same thing for you. The same thing goes for like working out. People tell me that they don't have time to exercise. I hear this all the time. Even now during times that we're all, a lot of us are still staying home. I mean, I know a lot of people are starting to go back to work and stuff. But even then I was hearing, I don't have time. I'm trying to get caught up from where I haven't had time to do anything. Well, if you start to actually plan out your day by time, it's gonna help you tremendously with getting things done. And you guys, this is block scheduling. This is not hourly planning. I personally, unless it works for you, but I personally do not believe in hourly planning. That is too much, it's too overwhelming. And we as humans are typically pretty bad at planning at how much time it takes to do something. So for example, if I give myself an hour to film videos, when really it's gonna take me two, then I'm behind on schedule. I'm trying to play catch up all the time. So I like to create buckets of time that have two to three hours in them. That way I have plenty of time to complete those tasks. Here I'm just filling in some things that I need to get done on other days throughout the rest of the week. So like I said, it's Monday morning whenever I'm filming this, I'm writing down some stuff that we need to do for Tuesday. Now here I'm gonna flip over to the monthly section in my catch-all planner. My son recently joined Cub Scouts and I need to write that down that he has Cub Scout meetings every Monday. That way whenever I'm planning out my week, I can come back in into the monthly section and I can see, okay, on Monday we have a Cub Scout meeting. That way I don't forget something, it's already in here, ready to go. Also, the pen that I'm using is the Muji 0.38. You can find this on Amazon. I will link it down below as well. It's one of my favorite pens ever to use inside of my planner, and I highly, highly, highly recommend it. Here, I'm just kind of reviewing things inside of my social media planner to make sure that I didn't miss anything. So just kind of overlooking the monthly, making sure that there was nothing that I wrote down. Here, we're onto the weekly pages. So just making sure that I have everything planned out for the day inside of that hourly layout. Earlier, you've seen me highlight this little section inside of my planner. That was actually an empty section. So I had time left over today because I had already planned for everything else that we needed to get done. And I love when this happens, you guys, because this ends up becoming my hangout or my catch up block. And what does that mean? Hangout means if I'm tired or I don't want to do anything or I've, you know, I've already accomplished everything for the day, I just hang out. Me and Levi might play together. Me and my husband might do something together. We might do something together as a family. We just kind of get a hangout. Sometimes it is my catch up block because maybe I didn't plan time accordingly or give myself enough time or hiccups happen or um, you're, if you're a mom, you know that things normally do not run like they're supposed to. So uh, I use that as like a catch up block, a way for me to get caught up on the things that I planned on doing. And then the pink section at the top is where I list out my top three priorities for the day and also any meetings or appointments that we have. So for example, Cub Scouts, and then I also had a team call on Monday. All right, that is everything I need to do inside of my main planner for the day. Now we're gonna hop into my teacher planner, which is also from the Happy Planner. And I use this one for my son for virtual learning. So his teachers post his assignments every morning on Google Classroom, and I put them inside of this planner. Now I have a video up of me showing you how I use this planner every single day if you guys wanna check it out. But the reason why I like doing it this way and kind of rewriting the plans that his teachers have listed out for him 
is so I know that I've turned them in. That's a big thing. I don't think I mentioned that inside of that video, but it's one of the main reasons. So I know if I've checked it off in my planner, it's been turned in on Google Classroom because there has been times before when I forgot to turn something in and then his teachers are messaging me and they're like, hey, Levi's late on his assignment. When really he did his assignment, I just didn't turn it in. So this is kind of my my two-step process to me making sure that I don't have those mom brain moments where I forget what I'm doing or what I was supposed to do or whether or not I did something. If I'm like, hey, did I turn this in? I can look inside of this planner. If it has a check mark, then yes, I've turned it in. And also this is kind of nice to do because I get to play with stickers every single day. I do not put stickers down for the entire week all at once. So every morning I get to come in, I get to sit down and I get to play with stickers more, which for me, it's so exciting and I love being able to do that. Again, I'm using this to write down the assignments that his teachers have posted inside of Google Classroom. And then I also use this as a way to remind myself of things I need to do. So for example, every Monday, it's time to print out his story for the week. It's time to print out his vocabulary words and his spelling words. So I like to remind myself to do those things. All right, that is my daily morning planning routine. Now I am by no means perfect at this. There are definitely mornings that I do not do this. There are days that I actually don't even look at my planner. The day just doesn't go as planned. It's, you know, it's just a rough day and that's okay because we all have them. It's no big deal. Don't beat yourself up about it. If you're, if you're um, not looking at your planner as much as you'd like, maybe set alarms on your phone to remind you to look at your planner. That was one thing that was really helpful for me whenever I first started planning because it was a new habit that you have to build. So I just wanted to share that with you guys, a quick little tip, set those alarms, that is very, very helpful. But that is my morning planning routine. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe, come hang out with me on Instagram, and I will see you in the next video.